I am living, breathing hope that God is real. I've tried to kill myself and I'm still here to this day because of God. I'm Josh, I'm Josh Ness. And I'm from Arizona, I'm a photographer, and I'm here on this DTS. My relationship to God, okay. So, prior to being here, it was go to church on Sundays, work with the youth group, it just felt like a routine. I never really had a good relationship with God until I got here. And when they, when they started teaching me how to talk to God and to relate to Him, it's been awesome. Because right now I take photos every day, but I can be spending time with God every day while taking photos. So I chose this particular place because it had a photography track. God's given me a gift, an eye for photography, and I wanted to use it for His kingdom. And I feel like God gave me the gift of seeing things differently. Now, whenever I go out to do photography, I'm going to make sure that I'm praying and I'm asking God for signs of encouragement through photography, which is awesome. We learned about quiet time, and I went out and just brought my Bible out, and I was listening to Oceans, the song Oceans by Hillsong, and I found a tree trunk in the forest. There was something calling me to that tree trunk. So I sat on it. I read Jeremiah 10, 1 through 16. Um, I can't really think of it on the top of my head, but it went from freezing cold, like my hands were shivering and everything, my whole body was shivering, right? To warm. It felt like I was in Arizona again. <laughs> it felt like literally God would just put a hand on my shoulder and just felt, felt like He was just there for me. And that what started the relationship with God. My relationship with God now. Um, I'm working on it. I'm trying to do quiet time as much as I can. King of the nations, this is your due. Among all these wise leaders of the nations and all their kingdoms, there is no one like you. Just start reading the Bible. Find a chapter in the Bible that speaks to you and just pour into God's word, basically. Take a second out of your day to just pray. That's what I encourage you to do.